I'm Susan, this is Hayley, and welcome to Cancer Research Demystified. So the aim of our channel is to kind of invite you into our world of cancer research, and this episode we're taking that quite literally. We're going to give you a tour of our lab. So the only difference with the lab as it normally is, is actually we're filming quite late at night. It doesn't look like it because it's the middle of summer and it never goes dark and it's a beautiful sunny um, summer evening. So normally there'd be more people around, it'd be quite busy, people would be getting on with experiments, but we're going to do it now while it's quiet so we don't get in the way. Right, and the other difference is that labs you've seen on TV might be quite sort of sterile and futuristic and everything just looks like really perfect, but this is a real lab, it's not quite like that, it's going to be a little bit more messy, um, but this is actually a brand new lab that we just moved into a few months ago, so this is realistically about the most futuristic cancer research lab you'll come across. Or well, the tidiest cancer research lab you'll probably come across. <laughs> Most labs around the world are pretty similar. We've both worked in a few different lab environments, but they always have a few things in common. Everybody has their own bench space, although sometimes we have to share. This bay that we're looking at now houses about six scientists, and we each have our own spot. And each spot has all the odds and ends that that particular research might need. Common things you'll find are tubes of different sizes, pipettes and pipette tips, so we'll have a separate video about that and we'll link to this in the description. Uh, possibly lab books maybe, where we note down all our findings. There's no findings here. <laughs> There's no findings. <laughs> this one in the corner is Haley's lab bench. Say hello Haley. <laughs> all the things I need, including my lucky charm. And this is Susan's lab bench. A bit tidier than mine. It mostly, to be honest, is just a place to keep my red box, <laughs> my special red prostate box that I bring prostates from Beijing to here in. So here we're in a separate room now, and this is where we carry out cell culture and process chemical samples like blood and urine. So these hoods protect the samples from getting contaminated, and they also keep us safe as well, it's a two-way street. We'll link in the description our other videos where we use hoods like these as well. This space houses our more specialised equipment. We've shown you some of these pieces in other videos, and one example is our Bond Max machine, aka Daniel Craig. This is a robot that we use to stay in slices of human tissue to look for markers of interest. We have machines that quantify the colour of a liquid, so we can say, for example, that one sample is more yellow or more orange than another, but with actual numbers. We also have our histology section, so this microtome allows us to cut little sections of tissue. This wax machine is how we embed our samples, you might remember that one from when we were turning our fingers into candles a few videos ago. And we also have our manual staining area where we dip little slides into stains ourselves, sort of like the Bond Max does, but you know, a bit more old fashioned. So all in all, this is an area that scientists visit on specific days for specific experiments. We all share the space together and it can actually be quite fun during the day. We all chit chat away together while processing our samples or keeping an eye on our experiments. There are some things that are a little different about working in a lab compared to an office. You've got to wear your lab coat and your gloves. You can't touch door handles with your gloves in case you contaminate someone else's hand from something you've been using in the lab. We have loads of signs all over the place to remind us to take our gloves off. You have to dispose of your waste really carefully as well. A lot of our waste is biohazardous, so it goes into yellow bins, it gets incinerated. We also have recycling and we recycle as much as we can. You also can't eat or drink in the lab. You can't fix your makeup. It's too much of a risk, you just don't know what might be in the air, what people have been touching, and then they go and touch their hands or face. Health and safety is pretty strict. So we hope you enjoyed the lab tour and looking around our lab. If you have any comments or questions, Put them below and we'll see you next time on Cancer Research Demystified. Mm -hmm.